Hi y'all, back again. <laughs> so we have a little update from the Flying Sparks Garage camp. It's bad, it's real bad. <laughs> it's terrible, are y'all ready for this? The 300ZX tried to kick our butts. We've been tinkering with this car, trying to get the plenum off for like a week and- A couple hours a day for a week. I've gotten so frustrated that I just, I go in the house and vent. So Aaron called our friend, John. John David, he is a Z car guy, really well known in the 300ZX community because he builds really super fast ones. He has a company called Spoolin Enterprises and they do all kinds of parts um, for those cars. But Aaron chatted with him on the phone for a long time and John was like, look guys, I will come and help y'all with this. It is a big job. The way that those cars come apart and reassemble is a big deal. Like putting it all back together, it's really specific. And even though we're gonna do a bunch of the delete, like the EGR delete and the cooling mm -hmm. system delete for the intake. Which are parts we don't currently have. That's part of the issue is we gotta order parts, the EGR delete, the cooling system delete. Um, also talked to him on the phone and I said, dude, if, if I'm doing this, I don't wanna do it twice. So should I go ahead and put bigger injectors? And he said, yes. So I gotta order those as well. This episode is not about that car. Instead of breathing life back into that very special black car, we are going to breathe life into this very special black car. And I'm excited to tell y'all about it. This very sweet 66 Plymouth Fury 2 belonged to our friend, oh, it's a three, Fury 3. It belonged to our friend, Aaron Sellers. He bought the car for Power Tour. I believe it was 17, because it was the year we built Zen. And then he lived in California. He drove the car here, left it here with us to sell for him. It stayed here for a while. And unfortunately, Aaron was in a terrible car accident and passed away. So it was really a difficult thing for us because we adored that man and having the car here in our backyard where I literally like look out my back kitchen window and wash dishes and look at this car. It made me happy seeing it back here. So we really didn't want to sell it. And we're really thankful now because it is our car. Uh, it was in kind of tied up in the estate and I spoke with his sister and she said, we want you guys to have that car. So we have the title. It is our car now, and that's a really special thing because we have this of Aaron's that, that means a lot to us. So we have been wanting to get it running. And actually, the car drove back here. I just looked up on our YouTube channel because I'm like, I feel like it was like five years ago that I worked on it. Turns out it was like five years ago within two days. It was August 30th, 2017 that I did an episode on this car replacing the brake booster and the kid and I de detailed it and cleaned it and literally drove it back here. And the car's just been sitting here for five years, almost five years to the day. So um, we just did a kick test on all the tires, like the tires still have air in them. Um, and honestly, we feel like it's gonna fire right up. So we're really excited to pop the hood and see what the status is under there. It's two latches. Something been living oh in here. Oh boy. Yikes. That could be bad news. It looks like a bird though. No, there's there's poop. Oh, it still works. That's good. That's good. I love this color that the car used to be. Mm-hmm. Mm. Alright, let's bend the fan over and see what we got. Still moves. Not froze up not seized up so we need to toss a new battery on it and we brought some good um, gasoline that's for the weed eater that's got oil in it so that we uh, treat those cylinders with some kindness and uh, lubrication as we give her a first crank up after five years sitting what engine is it it is a 318 there small block go. Mopar right well I, yeah, I was actually I asking because I couldn't remember. But. I, I feel like that's what I remember it being. Yeah, I think that's right. Small block Mopar, 
and I want to hear her crank up again. We have a fresh Die Hard battery from Advance Auto, of course, and Continental Tires sent us this fun little care package with all kinds of cool stuff. And this was one of the things that they sent, which would be amazing to have one of these in the back of all of our cars. Jumper cables, a window glass brake kit tool thing, little sockets, different nut drives, crescent wrench, a little ratchet with some extensions and an adapter, all kinds of good stuff. By the way, look at how hilarious the MG size versus stellar views. <laughs> hilarious. Anyway, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get this old nasty battery out of here. Junk her out. Nice new one in. Y'all remember a fun way to support us is to buy with companies that show us love. So Advance Auto is one of them. Our coupon code is in the description of this video if you would like to see if the parts that you're needing to purchase are eligible for a discount. They're great folks over Advance, so consider shopping with them. That's not gonna tighten up tight. It's gonna break. I think I have it as tight as it will go, and it's just loose. Wow, trip. I need something to stick in there and shim it tight. What? Loosen it up, turn it upside down. It's taped. Okay. Vice hand. That is working. Yeah. Nice. And this old girl probably has no compression anyway, so. <laughs> All right. So the battery's in. We got that figured out. Um, as you guys probably know, I'm, I'm a diesel guy. I don't do gas stuff. And, but I've been watching a lot of Vice Group Garage and he uses gas with oil in it when he first starts an engine. And I think that's the best thing we can do. Um, you know, with the diesel, it, it, it is oil. Like the fuel is oil. So we're gonna dump a little bit in there. And the re you were explaining to me why he does this. He's like, I really like the way he does this because gasoline with oil treatment in there helps coat the cylinder so whenever the yep. fuel squirts in there and the cylinder in theory has been sitting for a while and the cylinder may be rusty and yeah i mean it most likely is and then also no nonsense uses that quite a bit too. yeah so chris so it's great I, I think it's smart yeah so i'm gonna dump a little bit down there and then hit the key and run off <laughs> it catches on fire emily's got to deal with it <laughs> that's gonna be exciting that's enough to catch on fire for sure. All right. I'm gonna put a camera in here somewhere. Clear prop. No, not yet. Prop is not clear yet. I'm trying to get my other camera angle set. I love my magnetic case. Hey, okay, Emily, just make a decision. Will this work? something okay if that gets on fire you've got to take your shirt off and like snuff it out right yeah of course let's do this babe babe she tried to crank she did try to crank Pour a little bit more in. Hold on just a second. Okay. Yep, ignition's off. Pour some more in. Not too much. Don't do it like I did it. Okay, a little bit more going in. You ready? Green light, go. Clear prop. All right, clear prop. She's getting fuel now. 
Well, you just put fuel in it. So I wonder if there's something else going on. I don't, um, I don't see fuel whenever you hit the throttle. No, I wouldn't expect to just yet. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I think we've overfueled it. So we're going halfway down with the pedal. We drowning her out a little bit? Yeah, I think so. Let's, let's try to clear it out a little bit. Yeah. Ah! She's turning over so good. Ignition's off. Let's give it some more fuel. I, I think my theory might have been wrong. Okay. A little bit more going in. Give it a little bit more than that. Oh. Let's see what she does with a whole shot. And since you just got new eyelashes, I would stand back a little bit. Yep, I'm back. Really seeing the throttle like the flapper open like whenever you give it gas I'm wondering if it's not getting like airflow so what you're saying is the choke is on like this this main butterfly right here I'm not seeing it <clears throat> open I see the throttle cable moving oh there it's open now okay so how about you go hit the key? Because okay. I don't want you to get hurt. Okay. Hold your pedal about halfway down. <laughs> Leave the throttle closed real quick. Okay. I'm just overriding the chokes, all I'm doing. Okay. It sounded like it was going to pop off, like it was getting yeah. there that time. You ready again? Yep. Come on. Okay. We clearly have spark because it's tried to pop off. Is it flooded or is it out of gas? That's the question. It almost sounded like a fuel starvation to me, but then we put more fuel in. Yeah, let me, I might need a different jug for this. That was a lot. That was a lot? I don't mean that. Okay, try it. I'll operate the throttle. Yes. Oh, okay. It worked. That's the answer. It needs gas. I knew she was thirsty. Okay, go ahead. Yes. We do not have gas yet, but let's keep trying. I wonder if the fuel pump's just like not playing playing our games. Well, I'm sure that diaphragm's gotten dry and it's not wanting to suck, but it will eventually. And that gas is terrible too. All right, let's go. And she's idling. Got it. Got it. Good. I'm gonna give it a little bit more oil. Light her back up. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to get those cylinders oiled as much as I can. It'll go. We got a runner. Yes! She's a runner. Back in the bamboo. Don't give up on them. Oh my gosh.
like it's brand new. That is crazy. Watch the straw. stuff like this anymore. Nope. I wonder what will happen when we put her in gear. Do you want to ride with me? No, go ahead and pull it out. Okay, <laughs> let's put it in gear, y'all. Oh. Roll our window down. Um, ooh, that brake pedal. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was the last one to work on these brakes. So, there's that. <laughs> okay. Slid into drive like no big deal. Bye. This one's not, but it's it's probably spinning this one over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I died. <laughs> and it probably got on fire. Oh yeah, because that underneath of the um, hood, that stuff's bad. That underpinning is so bad, and it's gonna suck it into that carburetor. Not on fire, that's good. We're gonna leave that up until you get out of here. So that tire was not smooth. Was not? No. Oh. So. Transmission? Probably need to check transfer. It was moving like it was doing stuff. Yeah, try it again. vehicles I think that's the last one I would use to oh. tow it. Oh yeah we should get the Bronco it's in front of the love. Yeah. But we need to check trans fluids so leave it running. Okay. Do that and I'll go get the Bronco. Okay. These poor tires are so sank in the ground. They still have air but they are sank. It could use fluid but it has some. I'll go get her some fluid. All right, Bronco made it over to give her a little tug. Man, she just pops right off. So it just broke and the ignition uh, broke as well. Yeah. I did that. First she died. Mm -hmm. Then I tried to crank it back up and I was aggressively cranking and the ignition. You were in fourth, I guess. 
No, I was in drive. Oh, you're in drive. I'm still in drive. Um, I'm in park now. But the, uh, I was aggressively trying to recrank it. And the ignition just, like, totally falls out of its hole. Let's see if I can fix that. Gosh, well, the horn works. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, that's pretty pretty well fixed. Hmm. Let's give this one more try. Hopefully the ignition stays in place. Hopefully the giant chain doesn't come through the front windshield. Yeah. Okay, we're in drive. Let's do this. the rest of the way out. one to work on these brakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is drier than the desert. I see bubbles. So we must have a brake line somewhere that's yeah. toast. Our 
friend Aaron might have been a little roadkill. What do y'all think? Boy, he's kicking that pedal like it owes him money. I'm trying to break it loose. Get those bubbles out. It is so rusty and gross. You're kind of happy. were not spinning were they? No, they were not. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We tried. We'll start tinkering with that carburetor. I don't know about the transmission. Don't know what the story is there. But uh, maybe she'll get it back. I don't know. I want to keep on progress with her though. She's sweet. And dirty. You just hit the pedal, it just goes out, dies. You gotta throttle it. We'll see y'all tomorrow for a little more. Love for the Fury. Well, like five or six. That scared the crud out of me. You're kidding me. But yeah. But yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. And guess why? Why? I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it because, um, I was, I was not heavy enough. Did you know that that's a thing? You have to be heavy enough to put the seat down for you to actually get it to turn on. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it like connects the battery. Yeah. Okay, Aaron just moved the Super Duty for us. We're right. going to move the Fury into the spot that the Super Duty was. Right. I waved at that car. Oh, I was like, you did that when, I don't know, you, uh, ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kid's here. Yes, I am. <laughs> we just watched a little bit of the episode that we posted of this car five years ago, and she was five, and now she's ten. Crazy. Yep. You've always been such a cool kid. Uh-huh. Let's see if this car cranks up. Let's hope so. Park. I didn't do a very good cold start there. Oh, well. I didn't even give it any pumps. Let anyway. me give it a pump. That was two. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, and I don't know that ate pickles. Pickles usually make me burp. I drank a kombucha. Oh, that'll do it. Here we go. Three pumps. Yes. We just ordered a um, carburetor rebuild kit for it, yep. and um, so we're, we're going to be giving that carburetor some attention. Whoa, that is big. That is huge. That brake pedal? Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, you put both feet on it. See? They yeah. both fit perfectly. These brakes are bleeding down for some reason, and I don't have brakes. There's something on my leg. On this situation of the car. Your situation of the car. She died right when we started going. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. <laughs> 
Come on, Fury. Boom. Let us move you. We've been sitting in here. I think for a it's while. that. What is oh a spider on my leg? Oh lovely. Okay. I don't like spiders. It's the carburetor issue. What's it called? The little thingy bajigger. jigger. Thing my jagger? That um Got makes it, it to where whenever you gouge into it it has a a jiggy. Yeah. We're gonna rebuild that. A thing with G. Perfect. And We're rebuilding. Oh, Holy. brakes. It's okay. I just brakes. Dude, you we scared <laughs> me. <laughs> it died again. I thought we were staying here. <laughs> we're, this is close enough. Okay, let's go get the power washer and. In see the old episode. Horse. In the old episode. Yes. We were using a hose. I know. With the old metal thing jack. again. Didn't get the key out. You didn't get the key out. She broke it. Again. I broke it again. liked this power washer that we got at Lowe's but I've heard that our friends at Chemical Guys have a new power washer and I'm really curious about it. I have a lot of critiques about this one and I'd be curious to get one that's actually for detailing. You're good. Go for it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it was originally blue. And it, I would, I, blah, I wish I could see it blue. I know. I like the original color a lot. Me too. I wish it was still that color. Me too. This color. Oh, she sprang me. <laughs> it's all right, bro. We're good. You know, you know. I know. <laughs> says it's okay your phone's waterproof <laughs> <laughs> 
Up. First layer done. Okay, let's wash it with soap. Let's do it. Where's the soap bucket? I got you. Soap bucket. Soap bucket. It's happening. happening. Oh. oh my gosh. Sweet. Filming? Yeah. Look <laughs> at this. I just took my power washer and blew down the deck lid, like where the seam is. And there was so much junk. Let's see you wash it off. Okay. Good job, kid. Thank you. Two towels. Extra fast. We just decided <laughs> instead of scrubbing this door panel, we're just going to spray it off. Ready? Let's go for it. Pretty amazing. Looking good. It's not getting you, Mom. See that that area up there is where he used to get to ride as a kid. You could really in that back oh. window. Oh yeah, we would lay down back in the back window. Yeah, that was fun. Well, I bet. <laughs> There's a little dog back here, and Mama. I know it. Look at him. He's exploring. Ew, it smells. Old purpley gross tent. Whoa, I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> This poor dash is just toast, but, and the front seat's toast. Well, looked in here and they're peeling this without me. <laughs> no even warning. I know. You got the satisfaction of the other side. I did. Now it's your turn. I wish there was a Yay. third one for honey. Wee, honey, are you excited? That is so nice. down. So yucky. That stuff smells so bad. It smells so bad. Oh my gosh, that's so much better and brighter in here. It yeah. is, though. Makes a huge difference. I love it. Me too. Well, this looks pretty dang good, y'all. I mean, the seat kind of is trash, but, and the dash is trash. But, I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. It looks pretty good. The sun is setting on this day. It's been so nice. Just cleaning on the car, hanging out with the girls. Our plan tomorrow is to get up and work on that dang carburetor and try and make it run better. 
gonna be awesome. Okay, do you wanna tell them bye? And now want to. You want to as well? Push. Okay, come here. We're shoot, shooting a wrap for the day. Oh. It's been an awesome day. Say bye, Lily. Say bye. 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 <laughs> Later. Bye. 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 Oh, hi. <laughs> Let's clean out this engine bay to start our new day here. By engine bay, I mean the inhabitants that existed on this intake. They're no longer here, thankfully, whoever they were. Rats, birds, mice. I don't know. They're not here anymore, so we're gonna take the little air blower and try and clean that off. I should most definitely stick something in there to make all this stuff stay out of there, but we're gonna pull it off and clean it anyway, so. Let's clean this here and take off. Ugh. Again, I should use a glove. Not gonna. Toughen it out. Ugh. Definitely just touched poop. Oh well. That looks better. Cool. I just pulled out this neat vintage blanket tablecloth. I don't know. I think I got it at a thrift store a long time ago and I thought it might be kind of like match the interior of this rig because it's kind of the same colors and it's probably equally as putrid as Aaron feels like the interior colors are. He probably hates the interior colors because they're like vintage and aqua and cool and I love them. Don't you love them, mama? Mom. What do we love? The interior colors of this car. Yes. It was we... so fun to get all the dirt off of it and see them come out. Ugh, I love it. I think this is going to be cute in there. <laughs> it's so cute. Erin, do you love it? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect, right? Oh, yeah, the duct tape really adds to it. Yeah. <laughs> in the fringe. We can't get, I can't get the fringe over the duct tape, so we just got We need it. to pull the duct tape off. You sure? That's okay though for now. It's a nice touch. I like it. Too late now. Oh, it's oh, look off. how much better that looks. See, that's what I'm Can saying, we... dude. Erin, you have your I can scissors. Go get some sit. Oh, oh, you're just killing it, mom. <laughs> I love doing this. Me too. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Erin's <laughs> <laughs> like all this just to move when the I car just want to get the car over there and work on the filter on the carburetor carburetor Amy stop you're gonna pull the whole I swear you can pull all the <laughs> you can't be doing that there's there's antsy. not an end to that <laughs> except all down in here <laughs> it got me sticky Ew. yeah I'm gonna have to go rub my hands in some dirt <laughs> I'm about there. You're doing so good. This Mama. is like three layers of duct yeah, tape. And I probably just like pulled it all together too and with my rotten, dramatic pull. Which is the only thing that's helping. <laughs> Emmy. Only Want me to go more. get some scissors? After this? After all this? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, golly. Aaron, do you have your pocket knife? <laughs> Oh, no. Shit, here's what we do. Sorry, I said that. Tuck it. Okay, we're going to tuck it in there. Okay. Perfect. That adds like a little cushion back there. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> that is pretty. It looks so good. Mom, thank you for that oh. contribution. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're gonna pull it around to the shop and tinker with it. Mint. I love it. <laughs> it's the simple things in life. <laughs> As things go quite frequently, well, for one thing, if you see the battery charger there, 
we left something on overnight. I don't know if the brake pedal was hung down or there was the key left on or something like that, but the battery was dead this morning. Lovely. Um, so we tossed the battery charger on it to crank it up because we were going to move it around at the other side of the shop. And then Aaron started looking at the carb rebuild kit that we bought and he was like, this is the wrong one. Mm, um, yep. Yeah. So as it happens quite frequently, we bought the wrong parts and we started thinking like, let's just toss this over to you guys because we feel like this two barrel carb, two barrel. Yeah, it's two barrel. Yeah. Yeah, four barrel is a big one. Um, but it just looks so tiny. I'm like, is it smaller than a two? No. We feel like this two barrel carb is junky and to rebuild it is kind of pointless if we want to go with a bigger carb and get more fuel in her to begin with. So um, what would you guys do? We have never worked on Mopars before. We think this car is a 318. That's what we had been told. And um, when we went to the parts store to order this carb rebuild kit, he was like, huh, I don't have that as a factory option for the cubic inch on this car this year. So it's a 66 Fury 3. Did it come with a 318? Um, or could it be a different cubic inch engine in this here situation? If there's anything that differentiates one block from another, maybe you Mopar heads can tell us. And um, also we're gonna crank it up for you and show you what the carb is doing. We feel like it's the accelerator pump. That's what Aaron says. I don't have a freaking clue. I don't know carburetors well <laughs> enough to be like, this needs to be replaced. But uh, we're gonna crank it up for you, let it run a little bit and show you what it's doing. And toss it over to you guys so y'all can tell us what you would do if this car was yours. Definitely started sounding different. excitement we're having with this day. <laughs> yeah, so I think that hesitation is accelerator pump. I think that accelerator pump needs to accelerate itself off this engine and we need a new intake and a bigger carb mm -hmm. or yeah. a supercharger. And a starter. <laughs> and a starter. <laughs> and an alternator bracket. <laughs> Maybe uh, the alternator just sounds weird. Yeah. So they're coming to get us. We love y'all. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to hear your report reports on this here car and the engine and your ideas of what you would do if you had this car. We really like it. It's a really, really special one to us. We love and miss our friend Aaron a whole bunch and we're really grateful to have this car so that his legacy can live on through us and this here awesome Plymouth Fury. Love y'all so much. Thanks for the support and subscribing and commenting and liking everything that you do makes a difference for us. So we appreciate y'all so much and we'll see you on the next episode.